If you're a Netpuzzle user and you have access to the Chrome web browser, then you may want to check out the Edpuzzle Chrome extension because I think it will make the process of creating videos in Edpuzzle a lot more efficient. So the first thing you'll have to do is to locate the link where you can access this extension. And I will add it in the description, but if you just go to the Chrome Web Store and you search for Edpuzzle, chances are that this will come up. Now, I have my extension already installed in this browser, so for me it says remove, but if it's the first time that you're installing this extension inside your browser, it will have a button that will allow you to download it. So just go through and proceed with those steps. So what that allows you to do are two unique features. And the first one, is when you access a video in YouTube. So let's say that I want to use this video, create a lesson in Edpuzzle. All I have to do is click that button. It's going to automatically bring this into Edpuzzle where I can use some of the editing features as well as add questions. So it saves you a step of locating this video inside Edpuzzle or maybe taking the URL from YouTube, copying it, pasting it in Edpuzzle and finding a video that way. So it just saves you a couple steps, which is a really nice feature. Now, the other thing that the Chrome extension will allow you to do is to do a very basic kind of screen recording. So once your extension is installed, just go ahead and click your extension and choose Edpuzzle. There we go, I have a few different options for the screen recording. I can record the tab, which is what you see here the desktop, or I could just record a video of myself with the camera. But for this one, I'm just going to turn my camera off and I'm just going to do a regular screen recording of how to navigate this particular page on YouTube. So once I click start recording, if I hover to the bottom, you'll see some controls, including the ability for me to turn the camera on, to stop my, to pause my recording or to stop it. So let's say that I, I've gone through, I've narrated this, this screen recording. And once I'm done, I'm just going to hit the stop button. And there we go. That video is automatically located inside my Edpuzzle where I can go in and trim different parts, especially from the beginning and the end. And once I'm done, I can select the upload video and that video will automatically go into my Edpuzzle account where I can add questions or edit the video some more if I wanted to, and then eventually assign that to students. So the Chrome extension is a tool that I think will really help you save a lot of time. If you've been intimidated by the process of screen recording before, it's definitely something I think that you want to try out, especially if you're an Edpuzzle user and you share videos with students from Edpuzzle on a regular basis. So thanks again for watching. If you want the link to the Chrome extension, it's in the description. And if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.